Thanks for trying that data. In this video, we'll take a look at the dashboard, which has hundreds of charts designed by both our team and the community. We'll cover the elements related to the dashboard, such as context, dimensions, menus, and even raised alarms. We use an internal static threaded web server to host the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files that make up the standard dashboard. Since NetData is a health monitoring and performance troubleshooting system, we put a lot of emphasis on real-time, meaningful, and context-aware charts that are broken up into sections. The charts are interactive, in real-time, and work with your mouse, touchpad, or touch screen. First chart you see on the dashboard is the system CPU chart. And above each chart is the name, which is also known as its unique ID. The chart's name is derived from the chart's context. So what does that mean? A context is a way of grouping charts by the types of metrics collected and dimensions displayed. A dimension is a value that gets shown on the chart, which can be raw data or calculated values such as percentages or aggregates. If you're new to health and monitoring and performance troubleshooting, make sure to read the short description of what dimensions the chart is displaying and why they matter. You can find them on the right side of the chart beneath the date and time. Now let's take a look at a few things you can do with the chart. Let's hover over the chart. See how the chart pauses and shows the exact values presented as different dimensions? Now let's click or tap the chart to lock it into a single time frame. Doing this stops new metrics from updating the chart automatically. You can change how charts show their metrics by zooming in or out moving forward or backward in time, or selecting a specific time frame for a more in-depth analysis. You can even resize the chart. When you use a chart this way, NetData synchronizes all the other charts to match it. Now let's take a look at the dimensions for the system CPU chart. Here you can see dimensions such as soft IRQ, user, system, and IO weight. As a side note, other applications sometimes use the words series instead of dimension. Different charts with the same context show the same dimensions, but for different instances or families. So let's dive deeper into the context by taking a look at the disks section. Here you can see there are different contexts used like SDA, root, and dev. Each context has its own chart and is grouped by family, which is defined as one instance of a hardware or software resource that gets monitored and displayed separately from similar instances. So if your system has multiple disk drives at SDA and SDB, NetData puts each interface into their own family, and each family has one or more charts. We call these families because the charts associated with a single disk instance, for example, are often related to each other. Relatives. Family? Get it? As you can see, the disk family SDA shows a few gauges, followed by a few associated charts. Since the dashboard is broken up into sections, the associated charts appear on a single page, so all you need to do to view the sections is scroll up and down the page. But it's a whole lot easier and quicker to use the menus, which appear on the right side of the dashboard. Most menu items contain several submenu entries, which represent the families, making it easy to navigate to the instance you're interested in. Let's take a look at the IPv4 networking menu for our example. Here you can see a submenu for Internet IPv4 stack recognized by NetData. Since NetData is designed to help you monitor the health of your systems and applications, the NetData installation comes with dozens of pre-configured alarms that trigger alerts when your system starts acting strangely. It looks like we have one alarm. Let's take a look. You can find the Alarms button in the top navigation. By default, it opens to the active alarms. You can also see all alarms and the logs. On the Active Alarms tab, you can view the raised alarms a little more in depth. Here we see an alarm. The alarm itself is named RAM and Swap, and its context is System.Swap. Beneath that is an auto-updating badge that shows the latest metric. Under the badge description, you can see the role designation and three icons. 
The first icon lets you go directly to the chart associated with the alarm. The second icon lets you copy the badge link to your clipboard. And the last icon lets you copy the code to embed the badge onto another web page using an embed element. The table to the right shows information about the alarm's configuration, such as the warning and critical triggers and when it's checked. Now, let's take a look at the log tab. Here you see all alarms with the event data, chart, friendly value, and status. You can click on any one of the alarms to view it in more detail. When you click on an alarm, you are taken directly to the chart associated with it. Here, you can dive deeper for further troubleshooting. Thanks for watching. In this video, we covered the charts, dimensions, menus, and alarms of the standard dashboard. If you're new to monitoring the health and performance of systems and applications, make sure to read through our step-by-step -step tutorials in our document library at docs.netdata.cloud.